All right, guys, welcome back to another video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do, as we've got plenty more content coming and plenty of content like this. So if you enjoy this video, let me know by leaving it a like and be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think to the new scape. So basically, had this tank and had this scape now in the house since late February. So thought it was probably time to do a rescape. So I've got a few more rocks and overall I'm just going to change the setup as I've recently had the addition of one really, really cool fish that I'm going to eventually get more of, more on him probably later in the video or maybe next video. But this is just a simple time lapse of a rescape and we're also going to be doing a water change at the same time. So let's check it out. So at this point I thought I was happy with escape, turned the camera off, came back five minutes later and turned out I weren't happy with escape so that's why it changes slightly but let me know what you think to this scape in the comments. Overall I really 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 like it and I'm loving the caves that I added as well. Once I was happy with the scape, I decided to add a little bit more sand to this tank. I've not got a boatload of it left. National Geographic sand, I've been trying to find it for ages. Used to sell it as PetSmart, now they don't for some odd reason. But I'm going to add a little bit of that to the back corners of the tank and this middle portion. This was basically the best way I came up with and that was to submerge it, put it in this container and then simply pour it out seemed to work really really well so happy i came up with that idea and overall really happy with the end result
So here's the tank after the water change and the rescape. Overall, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I think the two little islands look really, really good. I pulled the one on the left in a little bit and then pulled the one on the right and kind of bunched quite a lot together. Really like the look of it. And it's also got a few caves, which I needed for the newer fish that's in the tank. Definitely gonna get a few more of these. And it's actually a Synodonus multipunctatus. Might be butchering that name, but I know that's what it is. Commonly referred to as a multi. Definitely gonna get a few more of these. Love them. And you'll see it in a little bit later on in the video. And for the most part, he seems to be hanging out in this little cave section that I've created here. Thought it was still important to keep that one rock on the left pretty high and then have some smaller rocks off it just to create that depth. And then we've got a little cave in there where none of the other African cichlids can get into, but obviously the multi can, which I feel like was important. Here he is, you might be able to see him ever so slightly. You can see him, his fin, and then he actually pulls out his face in a second. Really like him and overall, Definitely happy that I managed to snag him. Got this guy from John's Quality Cichlids and I actually got some more fish from John's Quality Cichlids. You might have seen the fish on my Instagram if you are following me there. If not, be sure to do so. And if you haven't, I'll be uh, putting out a video next week on the fish that I got. So you won't have to wait too long to see them. They are absolutely stunning, like beyond stunning. On the right side of the tank, we've then got another little cave structure not quite as closed off as the other one and some of the African cichlids can actually swim through this so if they need to chill out at any point they can go in there and we've also got the rainbow shark that can go in there as well again we're still looking for a little bit of a height but looking for a little swim through as well next thing with this tank is gonna probably be the addition of more rocks I want to fill it out a little bit more and create some more swim throughs especially if I end up getting some more multis which is definitely the plan Overall though, really, really happy with this scape. Let me know what you think to it in the comments down below. Be sure to like this video if you've watched it until this point and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? You've watched the full video. Click that subscribe button, ding the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.